All right, guys, so I do this before every session. You probably saw it in the last workout as well. Just a little red band, just to kind of get some blood into those shoulders. Just to kind of get, get some blood in there. Lubricate the joints. Because at the end of the day, we're going to be focusing a lot on this top line today. So I just want to say, make sure joints feel good. If there's any tight areas through my chest, upper back, could be coming down into my lats, things like that. I'm just aware of them. And we're going straight in for a high incline press because whilst the energy's there, I want to get that big movement done. That's the point because I can't fall for you. That's a pussy run the world. Can't let it control you or destroy you. Yeah, I love all women. I'm 10 steps ahead when I know what y'all doing. Yeah, he a nice guy, but you won't talk to him unless he got Everything we do, probably do like two to three feeder sets. So we'll literally kind of do like, like I did there, 25 kilos, like anything from like two to kind of six reps, just to get the gauging right, feel the connection, start to build up to that working weight. And then obviously I'll just do like, probably like a couple of reps on this next set, a couple of reps on the next one, and then I'll go into that working weight. Don't want to burn out on these feeders. Just want to get everything connecting, blood there. just on that like banded row, everything that we're going to be doing, I want to make sure like, my back's engaging so I can kind of like squeeze my back into the bench. Feet locked down real nice and tight, hips and glutes. Lock them down, shoulder blades locked down so I'm stable, I'm not moving. I want to get real locked in so we just focus on pressing through that upper, upper chest into that front delt. So you want to get really tight into the floor, hips and glutes bent. I told her meet me in the back, that ass fat, and she don't know how to act when she back, I think. I'm just trying to hit it once, I'ma take it to the back. Think she came in with a man, but she leaving with me, yeah. Cause she know that I'm the man, said she got a plan. Like we were saying, I needed progress. 42s, 11 reps, one more than last time. Oh, this is an old school banger. Return of the Mac. Take pack to the lung, kill the stress to the heat. I'm trying to do more for the soul, way less for the bread. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I take pack to the lung, kill the stress to the heat. I see the things that they do, way less than they see. What we're doing with this one, guys, we're actually doing a dead stop. So we're going to do one set, heavier set, six to nine reps, then another set, 10 to 12. But it's going to be a dead stop. So touch the chest. Keep the tension, strong stretch, then driving through. So you're driving a dead weight. Baby, look outside. Uh, a war on the real, baby, look out. Cause it's a war on the real, baby, look outside. Uh, a war it doesn't seem like much, but that thing is the heaviest thing you'll ever lift in your life. <laughs> I guarantee you, that's the thing. Small progress. Small progress, man. So I know I got seven reps on this last time, so I want to get eight. I promise you, like, as well, like, my chest was an area that was like, it wasn't very good at all. And definitely in the last few months even, it's got so much better. And this hasn't been anything to do with weight. This has literally been learning how to stretch my chest and contract it um, and how to train it effectively, making sure I'm getting the right ranges. I took a step back with weight a lot and learned how to retrain and it's paid off. I'm trying to do more for the soul, way less for the bread. Oh yes sir, uh, I take pack to the lung, kill the stress to the head. Oh, yeah. I see the things that they do way less than they see. Oh, seven. <laughs> That's good. The thing is though, it's like, yeah, it was seven reps again, but it was a better seven reps than last time for sure. I got a better stop, better contractions. It's all that matters. Just keep getting better. Just keep getting better. I'll tell you what, as soon as your sleep and your routine is better, everything skyrockets. Everything skyrockets. <laughs> I 
Babes. Rest times. Rest as long as you need to until that muscle feels recovered. Unless obviously you're being programmed not to rest. But when it's bigger movements, rest as long as you need to until recovery feels like it's there. And a lot of time on these bigger movements, take your time. Okay, watch how a hustler gon' get back Ain't having no more setback Spent it in you, know I get that bread back At first we was losing, started throwing head crack That's a big L, but we felt your impact And I tilt my head back and I look up to the sky It's a bird, it's a plane, yeah All he knew was grind, young and had to maintain Same reps as last time, but they were better reps So, same weight, same reps, but before much better it's A little bit of a fiddly movement to set up But honestly, lying cuff raises, so good Side belt, just putting these little wrist wraps on it kind of just helps keep the cuff in place so it doesn't slide up and down your arm. But honestly, it's good. Your whole body's isolated from lying down, and all you have to focus on is leading with the elbow to target out that side down. Very good movement. No, we go to farthest work smarter and the hardest. So shout out to the people who still with us and support us at it. Watch us go as artists pulling strings like guitar. That my brother, that my friend, start up in it. That my partner, we been killing every year. Yeah. So good that movement. So good. How they feeling? We gon' get this shit regardless. Loyalty over love, all we did was maintain. They been saying that we changed, but all we did was made change. When people move strange, you make moves to rearrange. Well, tell you what, guys. This is gonna be a fun year. Give me a fun year. If I just keep doing what I'm doing, I'm just getting a little bit better every day. We fucking sick. Chest. Our shoulder movement, and now we're going to go into upper back. So, I even hit back yesterday, but it's very different. So, the way that it's programmed is that now we're going into that upper back focus and kind of, kind of going into more of like that armpit region. Instead of going a bit more lat focused, we're going in kind of for thickness. So, bent over rows. These things are fucking horrible. I just want to lie. where you're bent over, you're hinging from the hips, it's always going to be a very, very demanding movement because you're loading obviously throughout the entire back because you're hanging, you're bracing that weight. Tight abdominals, breathing into the gut, tighten up that midsection and we'll say screw the feet into the ground, stay tight, rowing into the elbows. So, let's do it. strict as possible so keep the body nice and still for like about eight to ten reps and then you can see where I cheated a little bit just to squeeze through those last couple of reps because honestly when you're doing bigger movements like that you just want to get those last couple of reps and as long as you can keep the connection don't be afraid to cheat them out a little bit but though guys environment like me and Michael have talked about this shit tons but like Mate, like, how good is environment? Like, your environment's everything, and this gym's sick. Besides when it don't, when it doesn't flood. <laughs> Power on the rise, it's a sight to see. Chaos will arrive if you invite and we. You can see, you can feel. Ready. You can hear, it's getting real Shake down, break down, you can't shake it off Lay down, stay down when we take it off It's bad when you sweat comes out your nose <laughs> You can hear, we finna take it there Let's go in the other room Last back movement And then we got arms Because what kind of guy doesn't like arms? Cool guys, so what we're doing with this one Is that I'm going on that kind of like I guess the wider outer handle and we're going to focus on pulling more kind of into that armpit area again, going into the upper back instead of coming here and pulling here. So we're going to go wider and focus more on that, that top line, that upper back. So that's all it is, just changing the grip up a little bit. You and film at the same time. Cool. Yeah, you ready? Three, two, one. Yep, got it. Many that's safe with us. Ain't too many that hang with us. Label us notorious. 
warriors Give her all to the end Living life on the edge, wrong move, you might dive in Choice is yours on this mortgage board What you picking? Guy, hero, live a villain uh, Menacing, risky, that boosts my adrenaline Feelings had me feeling like I could finally feel again Fishing for that fix outside the box is how I reel it in Broken puzzle piece outside the box, it ain't no fitting in Total break a leg and I do Biceps we're just going with dual curls. We're using these D handles. And all is nice stretch, nice squeeze. Nice and simple. Your elbow, your bicep, only works here. So stop using your legs. <laughs> Too dangerous. Too dangerous. Less dangerous. Dangerous. We dangerous. 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 Triceps, we're just going to go for a dumbbell extension. Two straight sets, 10 to 15 reps. I get a little bit of like, not elbow pain, but it takes a little bit while for my like left tricep to engage. So normally like, I just did kind of work the 10, get the tricep engaging, and then I can go into the working set. So normally the first set on these is to kind of gauge it out a little bit as well. Dangerous. When you're kind of doing like a tricep extension, or kind of like any tricep work to be fair, whether that's overhead, push downs, imagine doing a bicep curl. So when it comes down, imagine squeezing the bicep so you get the full stretch. And the same when you do biceps, when you come down, imagine trying to squeeze your tricep so you get that full stretch, full contraction. Y'all niggas coming to your lie, lie from a place where nobody else know to take it. They hand up, they want us to spit the pie, pie, right? Cause they realize that we gone crazy. Yeah. I flip my pie, really did that one lady. Yeah. There you go, flip. Who is that gonna tell me I can't do I can't do Better be on time with my bankroll. Tall fat, no ball cat, no lit word. No lit word. I don't do these much, but it is in the program, so it's a superset. So we're going to go for push downs, and then we're going to superset into close push ups. So close push ups, isolating the tricep instead of the chest. And the push ups are just till failure, it doesn't really matter how many I do. That's it, man. I was gonna say, mate, if he's crying, we're not training hard enough. That's it, we're done. We're gonna get some abs in quickly and try and get home before we get flooded in. Alright guys, so I'm literally training abs every training session. So obviously my training splits three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. And it just rotates like that. So abs has been an area that's been really weak for me to make them pop. So I just make sure I just train them every day. And all I do is you'll see me do this exercise all the time because honestly, I can connect to it extremely well. Finding a movement that you can get good at and that you can connect well to that muscle group and just run it. I 
tell something, but it makes sense. I'm the ask me. Top feeling and I'm We done guys. We done. Very nice morning. Very good session. Very good. Like I said, we're just gonna ride that momentum now. It's a big year, it's a big year. First video into the year, man. So yeah, um, I'm gonna take over the rest of the day. I'll vlog the rest of the day, and then Michael will do his magic and make it look nicer. Color correction and all. <laughs>